Hey guys, Wintermute here, and today I'll be showing off the project I'm working on right now, which is about um, a nanovirus sort of attacking this PCV uh, in a gladiatorial combat arena shooter thingy. And I'll be going over a tutorial on how to make slow loading health bars, which I don't know what they're supposed to be called, but basically how they work is that first, part of this bar decreases, and then this part will also decrease to match it. So I'll just give you a look at the gameplay so far. Just move around with WASD, and click to kill enemies. I only have like melee attacks at the moment, but if you watch when I get damaged, this HP drops like that. I also have these integrated circuit things that you can put down, and I'm working on this right now, so it's not quite perfect. Alright, so that's enough of that. Uh, let's get into the tutorial. Alright, so let's start with a new 2D scene. All we're going to need for this tutorial is a single white square, which you can create in paint, or, I don't know, download off the internet, though this is going to be the simplest part you can make, so it's not going to be too much trouble. We're going to do this on a UI layer, so we're going to go to right-click this, um, we're going to hit image, and it will automatically create a canvas. Now we can put this, this image in the center, and this is going to be our health bar. Now the way this is going to work is that we're going to have three bars stacked on top of each other. One will be the background, one will be a fast um, health bar, which decreases immediately once any health is lost, and then the other one will be a slow health bar, which um, which will decrease slowly as up to the uh, quickly decreasing health bar's level. So we'll just stretch out a bar like this. And then, now to be able to change the amount of fill each of these has, we actually need to give it a sprite, which is why we need a, a single white square. This can be more complicated, an actual like health bar sort of shape, but just a simple white square should be enough for this tutorial. You want to change this to filled, um, and you want to change the fill method to horizontal. That'll let us scroll this fill value up and down. And we'll control this value um, in order to show the HP. Now we're going to have this be a little bit translucent, just because I think that looks better. And we're going to duplicate it two more times. So this is just going to be the background. We're going to have our uh, slowly loading HP on top of that. And then on top of that, we'll have a more quickly loading HP. So the idea is that first this quickly loading HP is going to drop, and then this will slowly drop to match it whenever we lose health. Now, we don't actually have a game here, so we don't have a way of losing health. Uh, how we're going to get around that is we're just going to make a button, and we're just going to call it, like, uh, lose health or something. Hit. And we can change the font size so it's a bit easier to see too. And there we go. So the idea is that once we click on this, we're going to lose some health, um, and then I mean, I guess that's all we need. Then we'll have our script process this. So this isn't the greatest practice, and you should also name these. Uh, but since we've only got three things in our scene, it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, you can add our script to the camera uh, in order to affect everything in the scene. Usually you should add these sort of like globally controlling scripts to something that's not going to get deleted in the scene. Uh, you might make like a, an empty called game manager or something, but right now that's not strictly necessary. So, uh, the script I will go over in a minute, but first let's start assigning things. So we want our fast bar to be image 1 and our slow bar to be image 2. And we're just going to drag and drop these to assign them. Now this damage is how much uh, HP is going to be lost whenever we click on this button. And we can also set that the, in the inspector. Uh, in order to make this actually activate, 
that damage function, we're going to have to select the object on which that damage function is created. And that damage function is inside our lazy health bar script. Although uh, in your game it might be something different, maybe in your player script for example. And we're going to have this and then we can just set this to be the specific function. And we're going to have to have public in, its, uh, in the function declaration for it to be revealed in the inspector like this. Uh, so make sure you keep that in mind. Alright, so if we play this game right now, so we can see this working. Um, if you want to make this effect more pronounced, you might want to decrease the opacity by a bit so you see a larger difference between the colors. That one as well. So you can see this slow health bar loading work. So let's go over how this program actually works. And I will have it open in Visual Studio Code, which is what I like to use. So the way this works is that that button right here, that will trigger the lose HP script as we've specified right here. And what happens when that gets triggered? First. Our current HP loses um, whatever that damage amount is, and then we're going to reset this sort of um, interpolator value to zero. These are the variables I'm going to have. We'll have our maximum HP, which is going to be basically the whole bar length. We'll have our current HP and another variable called current HP slow. That'll be how much um, that slow loading bar is going to uh, have filled. We're also going to have this public damage variable, which is just going to be exposed in the inspector so we can play with it if we want. And we'll have these two images, which are our fast and slow loading bars. You'll have to have the UnityEngine.UI module imported for this to actually work, otherwise you won't be able to access this image component. Uh, to start off with, we just have our current HP uh, and our slow HP both set to the maximum, so that when we fill it in this part, their fill amounts are just going to be one, right? Because they'll be the same thing. So when we do this, um, every time we uh, cause some damage, uh, what's going to happen is that current HP is going to drop, but this slow HP is going to stay the same. And this current HP is just immediately going to lose whatever damage value that is. And that fill is just going to immediately decrease. However, we want um, this slow HP variable to, sl to uh, decrease over time. And for that, we use the lerp function that Unity has, which is actually really useful. So this can be found in the floating point math library. And lerp stands for linear uh, interpolation, which is basically where we take two variables or two values and we try to smoothly go in between them. So say uh, the, vari the values we want to have right now are um, our slow HP value and our current HP value. And then the factor we use to interpolate between them is a variable we're going to call t. And we set that to zero here, um, as well as whenever this, whenever we lose damage. So this is, so when t equals zero, we're going to default to this initial value. Uh, and then this current HP slow is just going to be uh, whatever it is. When Current, when uh, t is equal to 1, our current HP slow is going to be assigned the value uh, of the current HP. And when it's, say, 0 0.5, it's going to be halfway in between these two val values. And this is our initial value, and this is our final value. So what we want to do is, every frame, we can add this number, time.delta time, which is just the time difference between frames. And we can add that to our interpolator value. So it starts at 0, and then it goes up. Um, as our framing, as our uh, as time passes, basically. So as each frame passes, this t goes up, and we can change this constant in front of it in order to change the speed at which um, this variable converges to this variable. So as time goes up, t t starts at zero, uh, and then one frame passes, t is equal to zero point one. So then this value is going to get a little bit closer to current HP. And after enough time passes, this value will equal current HP. 
Now we don't want this to be constantly running and it doesn't really matter that we have this function if they're both the same value, like if you haven't taken damage in a while, right? So we just have this only activate when they're not when these two values aren't equal. And that's basically how it works. Now if you change the damage value, um, then you can see that we have um, oh, 100, well that's going to drop the whole bar. No, did I save it? Okay, that's kind of weird. Oh, so that's probably something interesting about Unity. So if you look at the inspector, this value that's inputted here actually overrides whatever value we have here, which is why it can be dangerous to use public uh, variables. So we can change this to 100 and then we'll see the actual effect. So remember this value always overrides whatever is in your script and you can see that we lose the whole health bar at once. If we want to change the speed again, uh, all we need to do is we can go into this factor. So instead of adding every frame, which is like every 60th of a second or whatever your frame rate is, um, every frame we can add say 1 over 60 or we can add, if I set this to 0.5, we can set this, then every frame we're going to add 1 over 120 to this value. And then it's going to take 120 frames for our current uh, HP slow to um, equal our current HP which would mean that our nope, which would mean that our bar our slow bar will take 120 frames or two seconds to reach this value like this and yeah so i'll have this script um, up on my website in case you want to download it and check it out um, and use it in your own games so if you found this useful please drop a like and subscribe, and if you have any ideas for more content I can make in the future, uh, let me know. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!